Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add new Dropbox files to Notion database item. So the idea is that once a file is uploaded into Dropbox, the details of the file will be reflected as a page in Notion automatically. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Dropbox and Notion. So that is why I will be using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Dropbox and Notion. The best part here is a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real time example. Okay, so this is my Dropbox account and this is my Notion account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload a file in Dropbox and see whether a page will be created in Notion automatically or not. So let us begin the example. So we have uh, Dropbox and I'm going to upload a file in a very specific folder that is Atomic folder. Okay, so I'm going to upload this file lakes and let me just click on open. Okay, so we are just opening a JPG file. Okay, so a JPG file that is called as lakes has been uploaded. So the idea is that this particular file will be reflected as a page in this particular table of Notion. So let me just refresh Notion. Okay, so as you can see, a page has been created, lakes.jpg, and this is basically the same file URL. Okay, so let me just uh, click on open. Okay, so we have the file name that is lakes.jpg, and then we have the file URL. If you click here, or basically we just uh, copy this, oh, and uh, open this in a new tab, we basically find the same uh, image. Okay, so this is the image that we had uploaded. So this is a shareable link. So you must be thinking, how did I do it? How did I manage to send the data from Dropbox to Notion? So here we have used an integration and automation software called as Public Connect to integrate Dropbox and Notion. So let me just explain you the process. So this is how it's done. First of all, visit pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. So this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built my account. So let me just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the app section of Pabli. Let me just scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so earlier um, when we send the image data from a Dropbox to a Notion that to automatically, it may appear that the data arrived immediately, but the truth is the data from Dropbox arrives after a significant delay. So maybe you have to wait five or six minutes before you actually get the result, but uh, not panic. You will definitely get the result. All you have to do is just wait for some time. That's all. Okay. So this is the dashboard. All you have to do is just click on create workflow. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Dropbox to Notion. Notion. Of course, you can give any name according to your choice. It's totally on you. And let me just click on create. So when you click on create, you will find two windows, the trigger window as well as the action window. So first we will be working with the trigger window. Now the trigger is our Dropbox. The Dropbox because when the image or a file is uploaded in a particular folder in Dropbox, the data will be created as a page in Notion. So that is why the choose app we have selecting it as Dropbox. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Simply just click on connect. We are going with the new connection and just click on connect with Dropbox. Okay, so the authorization is successful. So we have a default field that is folder path. So what's the deal with the folder path? So as you can see, Pabli Connect at this point is integrated with my Dropbox account. Okay, so the idea is that we have to mention a specific folder path from where when a file is uploaded in that particular folder, the data will be collected in Pabli Connect. If you don't get it, let me just explain you this way. Let me just show you how it's done. So let me just take you to home. Okay, so this is the home page. I'm sorry, this is the home page. And uh, as you can see, we have a ton of folders. For your consideration, I'm going to create a new folder. Okay, let me just create a new folder. And the name of the folder, let's say, let's keep it as Notion. Notion data, that would do. Notion data page. Okay, and let me just click on create. So a folder has been created, Notion data page. Okay, now this is our folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and I'm going to paste it here. Now remember, this is a folder name. Okay, Notion data page is the folder name. 
but we want the folder path. So to get the folder path, all you have to do is enter slash sign. Okay, as you can see, it is mentioning you have to enter the slash sign. Okay, so this is the folder path and we have mentioned it. Now the idea is that when we insert an image in this particular insert a file or image or anything in this particular uh, folder, the data will be collected here. So at, at this point, at this point in this uh, particular folder, we don't have any file. We don't have, we don't have, we didn't upload any kind of file in this particular folder. So when I click on save and send test request, it will definitely give some bad result. So as you can see, malformed path, malformed path. It is showing something like error. Okay, this is because we don't have any file in this particular uh, uh, folder, Notion data page. So how about we upload a file? Okay, and this time we are going with this one, sunset. Okay, so our new image called as sunset.jpg is getting uploaded. Okay, so we have uploaded the image. And what I'm going to do here is let me go to public connect and once again, let me just click on save and send test request. So as you can see, we have the details of sunset. The name is sunset.jpg and there is something else I have to show you. So we want the shareable link. So this is the shareable link that has been generated by Pabli. So let me just copy this link and let me just show you what it will open. So as you can see, this is the same image that we had uploaded in Dropbox. So what we are going to do here is we are going to uh, use this data to create a page in Notion and this is how you do it. You go to the action window, you select the app as Notion. Notion it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as create a page and simply just click on connect. We are going with a new connection. Okay, so as you can see, these are the series of instruction you have to follow or you can just follow me. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we are going to basically begin from scratch. Okay, let me just cancel this. And first of all, we are going to create a new workspace. So I'm going to add the name of the workspace as uh, Dropbox Data 101. Okay. And we are going with the table. So slash table in line. This is the one we want. Okay, so we have to give a name to this table. So how about table 101? Okay, so here the file name will come. I'm happy with it. And uh, here, I think the URL, the file URL should come. File URL. Okay. And we are going to multi-select and let me change the type as URL. Easy. That's done. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to integrate this particular workspace to Pabli Connect. So first of all, let me just click on settings and members. Okay. And here you will find integrations. Click on integrations. So as you can see, these are all the integrations I had built. Okay. Now for your consideration, I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to build one more integration. So let me just scroll down, click on create a new integration. The name of the integration shall be Dropbox data. Dropbox to Notion. That would do much better. Of course, it's totally on you how to give the name or which name you have to give. Let me just click on submit. So this is the token you want. Let me just uh, click on copy. Okay. And let me just paste it here. But we are actually far from over. So what we are going to do here is, uh, let me just remove this. Okay. Let me just click on these three horizontal dots. Click on open as a page because that's what we want to do. And uh, before we click on share, let me just make some changes here. Uh, let me just click here and delete this so that uh, we can bring the new row at the top. Okay, now we are ready. So let me just click on share, toggle this to the right. This will ensure that anyone with a link can view. Okay, we are going to share it to the web and click here. Now we are going to invite the integration. So the integration is Dropbox to Notion. This is the, some, this is the integration that we had built recently. Let me just click on invite. Okay, and I think we are ready. So now what we are going to do here is let me go to Pabli Connect. And since we are ready, let me just click on save. So when you click on save, you will find two fields, the file name, file URL as well as the name. So we have one more field that is content. We can simply ignore it. We have the file URL and the name. Now these are the same columns we have name as well as the file URL. Okay. So let's map the details. We have, uh, let's start with the name. Okay. Because that's pretty easy. So if you may remember, this was the name of the file that was uploaded sunset.jpg. We are going to map this particular detail here. We click here. 
we click here and sunset.jpg and we have mapped it so easy then we have the file url we click here we click here oh let me just show you the shareable url this is something that i have shown earlier yes i had shown you so this is the shareable url that we want to share okay that we want to map we click here and uh, this is the shareable link and we have mapped it okay so we have mapped the file url we have mapped the name all you have to do is just click on save and send test request to send this data to notion so let me go here and yes we have the table we have the name sensor.jpg and this is the same file url the shareable link so the presence of this page confirms that we have a successful integration between dropbox and notion now before you leave let me just uh, explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated dropbox to public connect and then you integrated public connect to notion so now there's a perfect flow of data between dropbox and notion excellent so not just these two apps, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, please contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Also, the link of Pabli Connect as well as the workflow is available in the description box. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.